Good afternoon. This is Manjusha Radhakrishnan. I'm the entertainment editor. Today we have South Indian actor who works predominantly in Tamil language films, Karthi, of course. Uh, Karthi, we know him from Kaidi and Madras and Pony Silvan as well. He's here to promote his new film, which is a bromance, I'm told, with uh, Arun Swami. Perhaps you should tell us, is it going to be a fun watch? From the, Is it a departure from all the dark movies we have been watching? Yeah, there's no action. So there's no stunt master in this film. Uh, I think it's like a like a Malayalam film. Uh -huh. I would say it's like a, uh, it's a coming of age for one 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 character in the film. It's a coming of age for him, and um, it's an emotional drama. It's a drama, pure drama. Right. But it's got humor. Uh, it's got a lot of uh, elevating moments. Right. It's got uh, a nice closure, and then it also is a very um, personal film. I would say for for all of us because we all belong to one particular culture we all come from certain roots so this film takes you back to that reminds you who you are you're right you know so especially when you're here in dubai and you're working here right. and you're so far away from home yes. from parents you know it it brings you or reminds you who you are your roots and where you come from right it's a film which talks about love unconditional love right to be precise yeah. i think it's also about you know it's interesting you say it reminds you of your roots like last month my grandmother died she was 98 so i went back to india all my cousins like which who i haven't met for like say years and years we reconnected and i realized something about family you don't need this intense love yeah. irrespective i think yeah. it just comes yeah. so we don't need to do love with this friends <laughs> having said with that cousins like bangalore days film. it was about three cousins right i right. don't know if right. you know I know of something course, about I mean, cousins bonding kind of like yeah, gets to us. Is, is it similar? Did very, that talk very, to you? Yes, it is, it is very similar to that. I'm all my school days, my summer holidays were in my mother's house. Uh, home. Right. Huh. So we were like, my mother had siblings and their children all were there together. So we all grew up yes. together. So that's a bond which is something else. You know? Like even today, we have grown up. Yeah. They all have their own families. But when we catch up, it's again like childhood. Right. You know? right. And that's unconditional love. You can just call pick the phone and talk to them, ask for anything. Right. You know, that's the thing. It's We are blessed to have that family around you. The larger, the extended family around right. you. Right, right. I know. So you will love this film. You just love because you're blood, related by blood. Yeah. And no matter how mean or evil they can get, <laughs> you're like, they're family. Yeah. You know, you kind of give them a longer rope. Correct. Do you do that correct, as well? Correct, correct. Like, it applies to it. Definitely applies to it. Right. And uh, But that's not only that, they're also looking out for you. Huh. That's something, you know, they might be in some other town, but they're always looking out for you. Uh -huh. They want to know what you, what's happening with your life. They're really interested in you. Right. And they're always looking out for a chance where they can do something for you. <laughs> right. You know, I think that's very, very special, you know, especially if you've traveled abroad, you don't have a family anywhere and you're, uh, you don't have people to ask help, you know, whereas here in Cousins, we just, they just have to know that you need help. <laughs> right, before right. you can ask, they are there to help you out. It's a family code, it I think, of course. Uh, what is the equation with Arun Swami? I have to ask you this because you guys genuinely seem like you guys like each other. Right. Because two actors don't have to like each other. They can be Same. amazing actors, have yeah, great yeah, chemistry. Yeah, but do you actually have a great chemistry? I think chemistry? it also comes from the respect I have for him. Ah. You know, we've watched his film for a lot of time. And we know the person he is. He's one of the most brutally honest person. I you know, it. he will never be polite. <laughs> He's very affectionate but he doesn't have to be unnecessarily polite people can be polite and quiet and neutral and not Dupl diplomatic uh, uh, diplomatic he is nothing like that so that is something very admirable for me you know i right. like it when people are open and they say it because there's something to learn from that right and when it comes to craft you know he's so involved in it it's so intense and when you come across a film like mayalagan where it is heavily performance oriented oh. and the characters are layered then there's so much for you to give to that film the film is always written so well. Yes. So you first you want to do justice to it. You don't want to spoil it. But there is also scope for improvement. You can improvise. And when it's only between both of us, yes. I can see every single shot, he will take it so seriously. Make sure we do something better than what's written. Okay. Sincerity, you know, and that interest in doing it, you know. I think that's what made both of us click very well because we both love Silma. Uh -huh. We both are foodies. <laughs> so we can always keep talking about films and food and you'll never get tired of it. Right. And I think, it's all, like I said, it's first from respect. Uh -huh. And then I think we have developed that bond between us. One brutal thing that he perhaps told you about your craft, which you took in the in the right spirit. Like, I can be brutal, but I can also be mean-spirited. Like, for example, like yeah. for example um, if you have a certain way of delivering lines, you know, if it's a police officer, you have a different way of delivering. But when you're doing a casual, common person, you have a certain way of delivering your lines because it comes from your nature. But in a film, you can still break it. Mm -hmm. That's something only, I realized only when he told me. You know, you have a way of spacing your words and right. saying it. 
but actually you don't have to repeat it in every film you can find the space in between that actually caught me you know like how did i not think of it all these years i've been acting why didn't i think of it I you know, that's see. something which immediately uh, no i take interest in it now i want to see how i can achieve it I without see. making it look like a performance and because he is you uh, know uh, he cares for me he immediately corrects me right initially it will be like why and then you realize okay he's saying it he because he knows it yeah right right also you guys have a common a link i feel maniratnam both yes they find you i mean he found <laughs> such immense promise in you okay. and him and finally you guys are together do you guys discuss that your bond with maniratnam i feel see, discovered see, maniratnam. by maniratnam <laughs> is like a I, I was not discovered. Follow. I was not discovered by Mani sir. I was an AD. Actually, you wanted sir, to be a director, na? You never. Yes. You were a reluctant actor. Yes. Right. Absolutely. Yeah. So actual discovery is Arun Swami sir. Yes. I am not the discovery. I am from a school where I worked for him. You know, I've been on the sets. Yes. I know how he functions or how he, you know, creates. We've seen close to him and watched. The icing on the cake comes when he casts me in a film. Yes. <laughs> were you surprised? Yeah. Absolutely, and especially in a film like Ponin Selvan, yes. where it's one of the main characters in the yeah. film. He trusts me for that character. He 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 can't take it when you're not attentive or you're oh. relaxed. You know, you have to be more attentive if you want to become a director. Right. So that's when you get it. <laughs> His brother is Surya. Dad is a famous actor, right. Right. but you have carved your own niche. You have not. It's not easy, right? Or is it? I don't know. Do you get multiple chances as Ananya Pandey told me this? My father did not produce a film for me. Ah, okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, he did not launch me into the industry. Fair enough. It's my friend who produced a film for me because he had film dreams and uh, he always we were we grew up together. He yeah. would always say you are an actor. So I this bugger it. is one who pushed me from being an AD to an actor. So right, oh. that way so my father has never recommended me for any film. Okay. Or my brother has ever never recommended me for any film. What my brother recommended me was to work as an AD with Mani sir. <laughs> Fair enough. I was lucky enough because they wanted somebody who can write Tamil. Everything else has happened uh, of course I'm lucky to have Amir sir in my first film. Right. To have a blockbuster in my very first film. Right. And then I worked with Silver Agavan after that. Uh. But it's been a long journey, you know. My first film took 2 years. my second film took 3 years yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so it's been a very slow steady journey right and um, from this day one i think both of them said you have to make your own choices they did not listen to my scripts oh. no, so you never went to them as a sounding board never like, never never that's so interesting yeah. i sense because some... i started as an ad I have worked under Mani sir. Yeah. When I listen to scripts, I reflect on it, and I have to make my own choices. Is that why you are an engineer by profession as well? Was that your safety jacket? Yeah, my father would always say that the films is not for you. So he never wanted both of us to be in films. Okay. He would always say, "Be educated. You should always have one fallback, a degree where you can get a job if nothing works for you." Right, right. So I think being educated is not just for getting a job. It's also because um, uh, how you can handle your emotions. how you can make informed decisions so i think uh, education makes a huge difference handling your success and failure mm -hmm. you can't think that the success is only because of you or the failure is only because of you there are right. so many factors to it uh -huh. education definitely gives you a better understanding of all this right as an actor who's been in the industry how do you ensure it's safe for for women are you very aware of what's happening like you know and it's okay if you take a diplomatic stand the question no. is how do you view See, the conversation and dialogues that yeah. are happening so actually coming to point if you come across a co star or let's say a dancer or an assistant director they are having trouble on the sets yeah and you you come across it they don't have to come and complain to you mm -hmm. but even if you sense it there is always a chance that i can always step in you know i mm. can just tell the producer or if I, if probably if i am the producer then i can always take a call right or i can at least tell my director to take care of it so that much we can always do being men on sets and being men who have a say in things yes you see if you are on a first film and uh, you are just already in mercy of everybody around mm. you probably you cannot have a say mm -hmm. probably you are scared to say it out of course and it also means you might lose your job job yeah uh, but if it's not so then i can the first thing you can do is to just step in and say this is not right no i know we live in such polarizing times as well yeah. sometimes do you think we should separate the art from the artist because uh, you know i i see some uh, directors like say woody allen but his movies are brilliant so it's very difficult sometimes i'm like i'm dying to watch it but i can't because he's been accused of something do you as a artist also have such issues like where you think you know maybe i shouldn't work with a person because of his personal side and not his professional side prefer not to work 
uh-huh. if I know a very bad conduct, uh-huh. because that's going to be bring in a very bad energy into the sets. In that case, then I would prefer to avoid, because it's easy to avoid. You know, you, you work with people only for six months and then you move on and go. Right. It's not like an industry where nine to five you're seeing the same people and it's not like an IT industry or anywhere else. Right. Because whatever you're going through is six months and then you don't see the person again. So Probably you never choose. ever, you can always have the choice. You told me that you're very careful with the movies you choose. Yeah. Is that one of the factors as well? See, like, these are things which are we are getting exposed to, we're getting sensitive about it only now. Yes. We've heard stories in previous generations, but... Uh, we have never come across in our generation. Somehow in our generation, I think most people were educated. Mm. They have their own way of uh, taking the job and handling the sets. So we've never come across it. But when put in a situation, how do you want to react to it? Right. You're, you don't, you're not mentally prepared to handle every situation in life. You're, you're taken by shock. It takes time for you to react to yeah. it. But now since it's come in open and now we know that there are situations like this. Yeah. So if you're put in a situation, how are you going to react to it? Uh-huh. Now that's, I have to ask the question to myself. Uh, it's interesting you say you've worked with new breed of directors as well. Yeah. I'm thinking they think like you, right? Very democratic on set. Yes. You think is that your USP? You give like new voices and you want to hear like not just yeah. a Mani Ratnam, right? You would work with actors yeah, yeah, yeah. who are also... Mostly, most of our directors have you. been one film old directors. They just come out of one small film and then we work together. Uh-huh. And uh, that's also because I've seen they have a craft and they have a separate individual voice to it. Yes. And then you want to work with them. But if they had not come up with a good script, probably we wouldn't, we wouldn't have made a okay. film. Because they had a good script, because they've already shown that that film may not be a hit. But they have shown their metal. They've shown that they have the craft. Right. So I right. just finished watching Kandahar. Okay. The one with Arun Sami, brilliant. Right. Yeah. I want to tell him how much I like the okay. coffee conversation. I don't know if you've seen no, it. I've not seen it yet. Uh, no. And I also saw another one which is very disturbing, Sector 37 or 36, Six, with Vikrant yes, Masi. I know, I know. Cannibalism, which is very dark. Yeah. Uh, would you do something really dark? Like, are no. you open? No. Why is that? Because you are the good guy. I look at no, you and I'm like, you can't personally. do... My first film was very dark. Oh, I see. And okay. it affects you very personally. Achha, you, you go so, in a dark space? See, if you have to internalize something, only then you can give a very impactful performance. Uh-huh. And when you do something like that, at least my process is like that. Uh-huh. So when you internalize it, it really hits you hard. Like, it takes time for you to come out of it. I see. So I really don't want to do it. Why should I go and do a dark space when there is so much other content there? You know, it's not my space, that's all. Really? Yeah. I think this movie is all about see, that. See, I like right? action films. Okay. Action films are different. But Dark that's more like the different. fantasy, right? The all-male testosterone thing. No, I'm not talking about just... It's like if Kaidi, for example. Yeah, okay. It's not just that. It's got it's an emotion a, to it. Yeah, it's a dad and a father and daughter emotion to it. Yeah. There are layers to the action. Yeah. It's not just like a Hollywood, you know, like a set, set piece action. No, it's okay. not like that. So I need that human side to even an action film. Right. I can't just do a mindless action film. Uh-huh. But I don't want to get into a dark space. Fair enough. Yeah. Fair enough. Last question. South Indian cinemas are having a reckoning of sorts. Everybody I talk to want to watch Tamil. Maharaja, for instance. Vijay yeah. Setapati, yeah. we're talk- talking about the interest that it has. Yeah. Do you think it's a great moment to be an actor in South Indian cinema? To be in a country where people go to theatres to watch cinema itself is a great, great thing. Mm. Because I, I meet people from other countries where they don't even have a theatre. Yeah, Here, Honduras, I think. And many, many, many countries, yeah. they don't have this whole concept of going to theatre and yeah. watching films. Whereas here, it's a religion. So you are blessed if you are in India. But the kind of uh, uh, films that we are doing, I think we've always had very interesting, like especially Malayalam. Oh. So many films, yes. like Manamayesh uh, and Yes. So many beautiful films and with such... You know, very simple concepts, but they're able very to nuanced. hold a screen for... Yeah, exactly. And they're able to hold a screen for so long. They can go beyond imagination and do something. Fantasy. The Tamil amazing. is able to bridge these, both the gap between these two and be doing something in between. No. So I think that way, I think you're blessed in just to be in South India forever. I mean, uh, just not now. We always had these new waves, new talent coming in and, you know, bringing a new style of storytelling or visuals. You know. Yes. I think it's always evolving and that's what is keeping it alive. And the, thanks to the audience for encouraging that. You know, coming to theatres, watching it with families uh, right. and cheering us you know, I think we have to give it to the audience for that. Thank you so much you. for you. your time and thank you for entertaining us. Sure.